Now, a KOCO5 editorial. Here is President and General Manager Brent Hensley. We must protect our children. And right now in Oklahoma, they're not as protected as they could be. That was evident when the bodies of five Oklahoma children were found shot to death in a field in Henrietta last week. Teenagers who went to sleep at their friend's house for the night and were murdered. Since the tragedy, we have found out more about Jesse McFadden. In 2003, McFadden raped a 17-year-old girl. The court sentenced him to 20 years in prison. During that time, he allegedly used a contraband cell phone to text nude photos to a child. That case was caught up in the courts for six years. During that time, McFadden was released from prison early for his good behavior. How could this happen? It appears the sentence and release was within the state laws. But when people like McFadden show who they are, we have to keep them away from our children. Our state has come a long way in criminal justice and prison reform, and we're not advocating for keeping people unjustifiably locked up. But when a rapist shows bad behavior in jail and our system lets him out on good behavior, there's a problem. KOCO spoke to one of the lawmakers already trying to write a law to force sex offenders to serve 100% of their sentence. That's a start, but it's not enough to just start. Our legislators are working on a number of important issues, but don't gavel out before correcting this mistake in the system. I'd like to hear from you. Email me at editorials at koco.com. This has been a KOCO 5 editorial.